in the white helmet leading out Vanessa Boss behind her, Jennifer qualified with a 16.2 and Vanessa with a 14.9 so about a second between the two of them there in qualifying Vanessa to a very experienced racer not enormously experienced in match sprinting but very experienced as an all-round tracking she's a strong pursuiter she has done some match sprinting in the past she did ride the sprint in the juniors at under 15 Jennifer quite familiar with this track again with the disadvantage of not being as big as Vanessa Vanessa is certainly the number one seed with today's racing in this grade so the, uh, the pace slow at the moment Jennifer trying to keep Vanessa in her sight, Vanessa doing a good job of just sitting in um, Jennifer's blind spot. She could pretty much stuck underneath her whenever she wanted to. And uh, Vanessa not uh, taking advantage of that at this point. But uh, now she does, sucks under, wants to lead. Jennifer's going to need to respond, but the pace not on at the moment. Vanessa's still conserving her energy. There's a lot of races today. She's not going to use anything more than she needs to. Jennifer's going to need to back off and have a run at her if she could be a chance and uh, have some sort of initiative in this race, or Vanessa will just ramp it up and drop her up the back straight and indeed that's what she does she picks the pace up and Jennifer reacts rather than uh, using the initiative that might have made a difference since she's just going to be trailed off here at the moment and Vanessa too quick the tactical lesson to learn from that from Jennifer's perspective is that she needs to be the initiator she needs to exercise a little bit more I see Ray can do it Jared, be smart. All right, Carl gets ready. I'm in control of the microphone, which means I'm in control of the music, and you can all thank me later for doing this. There you go. Okay, now John's John kicked uh, early and uh, doing a good uh, good job of keeping Jared on the hip there. But it's a long way out, and uh, there's a significant difference in age between these two, and uh, it's still at the pickery. So Jared lays off a little, possibly not enough. Now he's got to use John's draft to run up to his back wheel and slingshot past him as he hits the bottom bend. And he's, that, that's what he's doing. They've got to keep it tight, but he's not quite up to him yet. John's doing a tremendous effort at holding, holding him at bay here. He's probably riding a bigger gear. Jared on 82, and uh, that's a big effort. Strong guy. And uh, Wiley character too is um, just trying to psych out David a little bit here by slowing it right down and pushing him up towards the fence. Just wanted to see how comfortable David is up, uh, up high and going slow. So far no, uh, no problems for either rider. Sort of putting the walking pace rule under scrutiny there, but uh, that is that is at least walking pace. There's no problems. They crossed the 200 line for the first time. Speed picks up a little more so just from the roll down the bank than anything. David probably is thinking he needs to, to try and do something because uh, there is a significant difference in their qualifying times. But that hasn't bothered Dave in the past. He's uh, qualified slow and then um, been cleaned up in the racing. Hence his promotion to C grade. So Craig's uh, being patient. Doesn't want to use up any more energy than, than needed. And with David not doing anything to uh, force a reaction from Craig, he's happy just to lead this out. He'll probably just ramp it up a little. Dave's pretty much hard up on his wheel and he can't do much from there. He hasn't got height. Or position didn't lay off just went out sideways and as soon as you go out sideways you lose ground Craig saw that put the pedal to the metal and he's going to pull away in the back straight and uh, win that one quite comfortably you could turn off now and uh, save an for later time for her, her here she's done faster at this but that's to be expected Roger also I think uh, is quicker than last month for 14.7 uh, relatively new to, to sprinting, Rog. 
Uh, but he's giving it a go, and good on him. And his son will be racing later in A grade. So we could also have almost have a, a family uh, derby here, the Apolitos versus the Cochrans versus the Dan. Emily doing a good job there of controlling the pace. John's got opportunity to go over the top if he wants to. Sam just needs to watch that, but at the moment she's, she's got him on her hip. She needs to leave room for him to get past, and he can if he wants to, but does he want to? That's the question. Bit of a jump, M saw that straight away. And she's the first one getting into the lane. Larisha John going a long way around. This is going to be a bit of a drag race. John will be better off backing off and then racing at her back wheel. She's getting very close to, to the back wheel there. But uh, looks like M may just have enough horsepower unless John can slingshot around that bank. Trouble is, coming hard off the wheel makes it very difficult. Courtesy of the coin, coin toss, he's uh, leading this. Matthew just coming to uh, to the sport, uh, to sprinting in particular. And uh, great guy, I had a bit of a match sprint with him at this last week in training. We had a bit of fun. But this is uh, a bit more serious, although you can still have fun. Merv towering over him here. Merv's uh, imposing at the best of times as he's tall and lanky. And then when he's on the high side of the the bank, he's literally looking down at Matthew. Pace comes right off. I think Merv's trying uh, to back away so he can get some run and, and Matthew, to his credit, just takes the pace off as well, not wanting to uh, give Merv that gap that he can run into. There's room for Merv over the top. He can't really come under. He's just overlapping the wheel a little from this angle anyway, but he does anyway. Calls me a liar. Takes the initiative. Jumps with 320 odds to go. Now, Matthew that needs to think about what we've been training at this. He's going to need to run up at Merv and try to slingshot past him, and he can do it. He's got some speed. He's getting out of the saddle. But Merv's got some grunt and he's got a bigger gear, that's going to help. But here comes Matthew, can he? He needs to keep it tight, he'll get a bit of runoff as he comes down. It's a charge for the line, it's a close one. I think Matthew.